Oh god. Uh, well, that might be bad. Can you see us? Can you hear us? Yes. Of course I can see you. You're everywhere. We didn't dare hope we could communicate with a living creature. Who are you? My name is Lars. I'm searching for my... We know of your plight. The whole forest suffers, but we... We are the guardians of the forest. Well, you did a shitty job then. Since time immemorial, we have guarded our land against evil. But now we are just puppets in the claws of a sorceress. She turned us into weapons that savagely wiped out all the denizens of the forest. Wait, are these the uh, puppet things? We have already lost hope of ever returning to our mutilated bodies. All we want is to save our forest. Uh, then grant me thy power. There is a wizard in these lands. He is already very old and we are not even sure if he still lives. Great, great. Five years ago it was he who turned the sorceress into a butterfly. Coincidentally, five years ago my mother died. Probably nothing to do with that. Go to him. Perhaps you are the one destined to play a decisive role in saving the forest. For it is not by chance that you came to be here and were able to speak to us. Outside you will find a well. It is a magical system we built for moving around the forest. So those wells actually had a point then? Boy, you hold not only your sister's fate in your hands, but the fate of the whole forest as well. I'm pretty sure he couldn't give less of a shit about the forest than you will ever know. I mean, he literally doesn't give a shit about anyone but his sister. I and himself. fear you are the only one who has come this close to finding the answer. You must see this mission through to the end. I shall. Good luck. You have a brave heart. You will save us. Let's go then. Okay. Let's just get going and use the... Please don't. Let's go again. Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, I see. Could you please continue playing? Amazing. I like her. Uh, good music. Oh. Yeah, you should probably get it. Go down, for fuck's sake! Thank you. <clears throat> Sorry. I mean, that was a bit too close for comfort. Anyways... Uh... Oh no! No! Stop! Don't drown! Okay, uh, I see. For some reason I think the trees are watching me. Okay. I need to hide here. But why do I need to hide? From what do I need to hide? From him? <laughs> From that! Looks 
bad? Oh my god, it's Baba Yaga! Oh fuck! Damn, his house is a literal snail. So that is something. I, I can hide behind everything. Okay, I see. I feel like I see where this is going. Oh shit! Swamp Explorer. Uh, let's take the one farthest away. Uh, just because I feel like it. Maybe not. <laughs> I'm smart! Kind of shitting himself there. I mean, understandably so. All right. Could we please get on with our lives? Okay. Kill it. He's like Gandalf. It's been so long since I met another person in these desolate, gloomy places. Yeah, that might have something to do with the uh, literal witch thingy that follows me around and killed me twice? Whatever. Another few moments, and we would never have met. Hello, I'm... Boy, I have an unspoken agreement with the locals to maintain peaceful relations with them. Okay. The entire swamp is full of vile, soulless creatures. One of which just tried to catch you for its dinner. Sorry. But by some miracle, you managed to reach my house. I presume you have not come to these green parts for no reason. I mean, it looked like a fine place for a vacation. No, of course not. I came to ask for help. The sorceress you turned into a butterfly has gained power and has possessed my sister's mind. She wants to destroy the whole forest. The spirit said that only you can stop her. I couldn't back then, and I won't be able to this time either. Sad. What that loss has done to you. My beautiful daughter, who was so capable from such a young age, is the butterfly. It all began when she was a child. Wolf savaged her mother during a walk in the forest. And my daughter only survived thanks to a passing hunter. That experience changed her deeply. She came to hate the forest and swore to destroy all its inhabitants in the most painful way. She sounds like a swell person. Time passed, and for a moment, I thought my little girl had forgotten her terrifying plans. She married, had children, and then the forest made itself known once more. Her son was attacked by a bear. The beast only slightly wounded the child, but that was enough to awaken the evil slumbering within her. Who could have guessed? Handsome bear that gave me a scar on my cheek. I noticed the change, and I realized I had to act. The only thing I could do was transform my daughter into a harmless creature. A butterfly, for instance. Well, that worked out amazingly, didn't it? I could not bring myself to put her in the cage. Okay, so you're fucked up. I see. Your story, it's making me feel... strange. How come? But does that mean you still have the cage and we can save the forest? Yes, I still have it. Do you know... Where my daughter is now? Actually, I might have forgotten. Say no more. Now, focus and think of that place. Three. Oh my shit! 
Oh, hey, father, you're alive. Somehow. I guess. My boy, you have returned. It's so <laughs> wonderful to see the whole family reunited. <laughs> right. Ain't it amazing? I'm gonna kill you. Sean, put the cage down. I said that one to you earlier. You didn't put the gun down. You got your head split wide open. So I shall not... Wait. Am I just repeating his mistake? Open it! I just want to know what happens. I killed her! <clears throat> We're no killers. By the way. Oops. Brother, don't do anything foolish. I don't want to lose mother all over again. Father, what's going on? My son, we thought your poor mother died, but we were wrong. Wait, Lars, are you crying? She took on a different form, but even in this incredibly fragile body, she was able to find us and reunite our family. She did kind of kill you in the process, though. Ah! Lars, look at the amazing crown we prepared specially for you! Yay! You have spent long enough rolling in the dirt with the rabble, my boy. Now the time has come to rule. Mother, will I forget who I am? Don't be afraid, my son. You will not forget yourself. Let me help you become older and wiser. Mama. I missed you. My little one, come over to us. I might have just doomed the entire world, so let's go. The Dark Prince rises. Your eyes are kind of bleeding, though. Should probably seek out a doctor for that one. Anyways guys, I hope you had as much fun with this as I did. Thank you for watching, and I hope, like always, you will have a beautiful day. Until next time, see ya.